Hello Stamper, welcome to Frenchie's video. I'm France Martin, independent demonstrator with Stamping Up at FrenchieStamps.com. I'm a little bit excited today to show what I came up with. I used the Appy die from um, Christmas Cheer. That is um, the dies that coordinate with Word of Chi Cheer. It's a holiday stamp set. But I am one that don't say happy holiday. I like Merry Christmas. So um, way back, I done this card here and I stamped the birthday. Well, I was designing a card for a group and that was the stamp set, the bundle I had to use. And I was like, okay, I need to do something different. Well, I thought, hmm. The P can become a D and can become a D, depends which way I reverse them. So I done this one here, happy birthday. Pretty slick, isn't it? And then looking at that, I'm like, hmm, I think I can do the background. So I'm gonna share with you how all is done. It's just a few little tips there, but that's gonna make it or break it. And put it that way. This one here, the designer series paper, it's in good taste. And this one was expression in ink. One of two of my favorites, really. So um, this one I didn't emboss the top. The next one we're gonna emboss it. The reason why I like to emboss because this is the reverse. So it's rough a little bit on the edge. Not much, but it's rough a little bit. So when we emboss, it take all the floss away. So I prepare my card base here. This measure four and one eight by five and three eight in early espresso. In good taste, it is four by five and a quarter. I will have all measurement and all supplies list on my blog right below you get the direct link. So the other one, this one I feel it's more masculine. This one we're going to crank that up to be more feminine. I mean it can be masculine too. I'm just using a little bit of that purple uh, fresh freshia. So to make it easy, I die cut uh, the epi and I'm using the um, adhesive sheet that make it a lot easier okay so I cut two happy and this is the background happy okay I call that the bowl happy or the background happy now we're just going to peel this up here and voila we're going to smack that right here no right and wrong okay just Put it wherever you want, and you could it, you could do it vertical also, horizontal. It don't matter. It it would go both ways. I should have done one on the other direction. Now I'm just gonna press this. That's the appy, just the way that it's cut, and then this one here, the top layer of the appy, that is um, in fresh freesia. And I'm just peeling off the adhesive sheet uh, backing, okay? Now we're going to put that right here. That's what I love about the adhesive sheet. I don't have to play with the glue in the back and get the glue ooze on the side and so on. So it makes it very quick and easy. One little more step before you cut it, but it's awesome. So this year, I could have mount that also like this. It's mounted on the foam sheet. I'm going to have the link of this video at the end. Note that be dazzling. It's not available anymore. It was part of celebration. Okay, so now we got that. Now it's when I decide to use my thinking cap. So we need um, both of... Uh, we need one P, but first let back up the bus here. And so I cut two, just the regular size, okay? So when you cut, you put your paper, oops, something fell. You put your paper on the adhesive sheet and then you get the top layer. I don't know where it went. So the die gonna go on top, okay? On top of the card stop and then you roll it through and then you get this. So I did two of that. 
Well, like I said, one of the P need to reverse. So to get the glue and also not only to get the glue on an adhesive sheet, but if you want that on a foil, because the foil is not foil on both sides, you're going to have to do this trick here. So if you decide, oh, I want to use the adhesive sheet, then I don't have to pay attention. Well, if you do foil, you have to pay attention also because you're going to have to cut from the back because you want the foil in the front. So this here, usually you would put your die on your paper, your cardstock. Well now, what you're going to do is take the adhesive sheet like this, and you're going to cut from the back of the paper, from the adhesive sheet, so we're going to have the sticky on the other side. So that's going to become the B here. So um, I got two, I just need one here. So I'm just going to come here and cut this up here, there, and then we're going to cut that straight here. Okay, now I get kind of a B, but I want it, see I get my B here. I don't want the center here, so what i done, put my scissors in, I just didn't like the center when it was another letters. So I'm just going to cut this off, boom, et voila. So you can trim maybe a little bit more. That looked pretty slick, I think. So, oh, this is B, yeah, the, the sticker, it's in the back. So now we get our B. So you see, it's rough a little bit. So when we're going to pass it, and uh, with an embossing folder, it's going to take the roughness away. If not, you don't want to pass it in the embossing folder, take your bone folder and smooth it up. And that's going to take quite a bit of difference. So now we're going to take our B. See, now the glue, it's in the back of this, on the reverse, because we cut it from the back. Now we're going to move that. And I'm going to put my B right here. Oops, I get this. That's about right. We're going to put our B there. So I had to do the same thing with the happy. And can I find what I, here it is. So here it is, my happy. I did the same thing. So I need a B. We're going to remove that. And then we're going to cut the inside. I didn't want the inside. You could leave it. It's just it didn't seem, I don't know. So again, you could take your bone folder and smooth that up here. But we're going to pass this one in the with the embossing folder. I see just a little bit there. So now we're going to remove the backing of this. Remember this one, it's cut from the back of the adhesive sheet, not on top of the cardstock, okay? That's how we got the P becoming a B. Now, the D, it's going to be just a P cut, and it's put upside down, become a D. So I'm going to cut this and cut this right here. So now we get our D, but again, my D, I don't want the inside. We're going to cut. I was so excited when I, my head went there and thought about it. So for the little line, some of it I had used, like this one, I used the bottom of a P there because I had two on um, something. So we could use that. Okay, this one is good which was uh, right here. I got another one here. So um, I could use that, or what you can do from your strip here, I'm just going to cut a little piece here. Or you can cut, put the glue, whatever works for you. I'm just going to cut a little piece of the brown here. And that's going to be our line between the B and D for birthday. Well, maybe, maybe not here. Let's see what I get. Here we go. And I'm going to put that right here. I can have a little bit shorter, I think. Here we go. 
So I just eyeballed that, no right and wrong. And to be honest, I would say that's about half inch. I don't even know where a ruler is. Uh, yeah, a little bit less than half inch. Okay, so we're going to do the same thing with um, the fresh freesia here. I got, oh, that's, I'm eyeballing this. We're going to see if my eyeball looks good here or not. Let's remove the backing here. And, oh, that's pretty good. Here we go. Just a little line. Even if it's not perfectly straight, it's lovely. Okay, so now we got our D. We're going to put D. So see, this was a P, become a D. So this one, it's not reversed. The one you have to re reverse it, it's the B. B like baby boy. Here we go. Now we're going to do our A. Just go around the edge there, and we're going to round this up here. Mm -hmm. oh, I could have kept a little bit. Yeah, I should have kept longer there. That's okay. We are going to add it. That was part of the edge here. So maybe you want to keep a little bit so your letter are touching together, but you get that gap. So I'm doing a little bit of operation here. Oops, where's my poker when I need it? Here we go. This, if I would have cut it a little bit more. So let's see how we're going to. Okay, right there. And why I'm not afraid to do this right now, because we're going to mount that together so it won't even show. See? And now I get my A right here. A. And then... The Y. The Y, we don't have nothing to do special. Oh, that's the reverse. Where's the... Here. No, this is not the Y. Where is the Y? Here it is. And then we're going to have the Y. We have to remove that P. Or, yeah. And I think I removed this here because it was touching on my letter. When I reverse it, and now we're going to glue this. So we're going to put the next layer on top, and then you get birthday out of the appy. Is that cool? And then I'm going to come right here, and then I'm going to show you how to uh, mount that. Okay, let me remove this here because I I'm going to have a fiasco if I don't remove that. I'm going to have the wrong letter at the wrong place and so on. You could cut a little, just the letter you need, but I find to do it this way, it's much easier. Okay, we're going to cut a P for a D. These ones are much easier because they're very delicate, but you can see exactly where the letter finish and so on. Here we go. Yeah, that's reversed. Okay, now let's peel this off. Maybe you guys like to use uh, adhesive better, like the liquid glue. 
that's all up to you right now the inside I get a little sliver that I'm not happy about it's much easier to cut before you remove the backing okay keep that in mind if voila and then a, a this time I'm going to keep the tail of the A, right? That's going to go there and air there. So you see I kept the tail on each end of the A, so then the litter is going to be like sewed together. A lot easier when you remove the old thing okay let's I think it's because I'm trying to rush here I just have to hold on a little bit and then if your tail are too much then it's easy we can you know cut it after here we go and then the Y it's a Y so it's no thinking about that and then we're going to remove that I am for the embossing I am using the uh, worn type uh, what is it worn type worn time worn type the 3d so we're going to take this the side of the stamping up there that's what you want in the front we're going to put this here and like a subtle would be good um uh, what is the other die i was thinking to use um Something very uh, soft, like one second. Another one would be great. It is the, not the grit. It's the subtle, I think it's, uh, what it's called? Texture textile. That would be a very lovely one also. I'm using the type one. I love that uh, die. And not die, but embossing folder. now watch this here boom so it don't show much in the camera on this but it gives the texture so every little flow that you add there it's all hiding in there and now this going to get on uh, my card front here inside i use a uh, sunny sentiment hoping your birthday is filled with all good things and then i use the everyday label right here and that we're going to glue that and i got those little leaves it's like the little pine leaf i guess uh, here they are i got that on the adhesive sheet too so now i can remove them And then, so I just crisscross them. So the first one, I put it right in the center here. And then we're going to put on each side. One here. And instead of the baker's twine for this one, I use the fresh freesia. Where's the other one? One now. Okay, I'm going to find it after, oh, here it is. I used the Fresh Frisia ribbon, and I did a tiny bow, and that's what we're going to put at the top. So I thought with that little more fancy bow, it's going to look more like, um, a little bit more girly. I'm going to put the glue dot in the back, and put that right here. Et voila! Oh, that's going to have to get glue at the top. And it's a tiny border because my um, early espresso is 4 and 1 8 by 5 and 3 8. So I just get a tiny little border. And I get glue on me. Et voila, my friend. 
So now you see this appy become the appy there. And I bet right now, maybe you can even tell in the camera, this is very texture. So it's blend smooth. This is more matte. And then this was with the foil, but without the backing there. Because I didn't think about that till after it was sitting on my desk. And I'm like, hmm, I would like to have a back layer on that. Et voila. So all the supplies will be listed on my blog and the measurement right below. The only thing that I think it's very crucial that if you do like a paper that it's it's not the same on both sides or you use the adhesive sheet, you need to cut one of the P from the back side of it, okay? So you're still going to cut it face down just like I show you this year. So uh, let me show you on a piece of foil. You're going to understand more. Here we go. Let me bring the machine here. So then that, I think that's really going to make the trick to understand. So usually you would cut this, oops, this way. You would cut your paper, your foil would be at the top and then you would cut this here. Now, because you want to have the reverse, and I'm just going to cut one there. You're going to cut it from the back of it. So here is the back. So you cut from the back of it. So you see this was the front and see now we get the B. That's what you have to cut from the back. Now if I cut this way, the same thing, now we're going to have the letter, the P. So you have to cut from the back of it. It's the same with the adhesive sheet. Instead of the front of the thing, you're going to cut it through the back. And then you're just going to brush. Well, this one here, it's raised on the side because it's the reverse. Take your bone folder and brush. Or if you emboss, that's going to take the trick of all that lift up thing whoops it's gonna take that all down that is it my friend till next time happy stamping have a lovely day